Hi everyone, it is Mrs. Red here from Mrs. Red's and today we're going to be having a look at what is inside the uh, June 19 Red's Art Cart. Now I'm just going to flip the camera around. There we go. There is a, oh I don't know where to look. Oh, well, that's right, I'm looking there. Um, there's a really good reason as to why I am filming this kind of live on my phone in my paddock. You will be able to hear maybe in the background machinery going on. We're having a renovation happening at the moment. So uh, I have about 10 workers working at the house, sanding floors, uh, painting, got my lead Chippy here and his apprentice. So the, the house is just not a place I can be at the moment and uh, too noisy and not enough privacy. And I do uh, live on a little bit of land. Sorry for that camera shake just then. Uh, I do live on a fair little bit, little bit of three acres we've got. So I'm up in the paddock. So I'll just scan it back around and you'll actually be able to see one of my little chookies just through there. All the rest of them are down over there, which is where the aviary is. So they're picking up all the seed that the um, the aviary birds dropped. And down there is our actual house. You can see a big tarp on the roof, big renovation happening. So it'll all be exciting. I'm getting a new office. Anyway, so here is the June Reds art cart. Obviously, I've already shown you what's inside here because I've collected it here. Everyone doesn't, sorry, get all of this. This is um, a combination of the boxes, but I have got a box to actually unwrap as well. So let's let's start with that. So this is what everyone, anyone who's an art carter who receives their monthly art cart in the mail, this is how it comes to them. A nice splattered box in different colours, and you open up and straight away you're going to find out your information sheet, which is what the artwork is done on. And there we go there and if you flip over you have a breakdown of uh, the contents of that month's cart and a bit of uh, social media information down the bottom there as well so then we take this layer off and it all reveals in there so let's start with this journal that's in there it's the Fabriano journal Veniza I think it's called Ven Veniza book I have mine here for an example. Oh, and uh, check out the house shoes. Yep, got my Crocs on. So clearly I don't walk out in the street with these on. These are just purely for home and for sitting in the garden and hopefully an ant won't bite me either. Uh, so this beautiful little journal, which has got my artworks in it, is a 200 GSM paper. And the only marker that went through is the, uh, the thickest of the lot, um, alcohol-based which was the Mepsky marker, which I'll go through soon. So everyone received this gorgeous little A6 size journal. And um, yeah, the best thing about it was that it's a 200 GSM drawing paper. Gorgeous little, little up. You can get these in A5 too, although I've only got the A6 in, in the shop at the moment. Then where it's, it's a bit of a, a brush marker, a marker pen month this month actually I'll just start I've just got to with this one I'll just put this the camera there between my knees um, so everyone's receiving one color in the Mepsky marker pen this is the marker pen that is alcohol based so it will bleed through on a certain thickness of paper but saying that yes the color bled through Sorry, I've got a bit of a harsh shadow happening there. The colour has bled through here, but it never actually went on to that page, which was, which was good. So um, this one, this blue marker is this blue here. And you can see by that there. Uh, with this, you've got a chisel end one side. And then on the other side, a brush pen. So it's not too rubbery and flexible, that, that nib. Um, it's still uh, quite sturdy, but it is sort of flexible so that you can get different widths with it. 
So that's the um, the Mepsky marker. Then if we go to the Koi colouring brushes next, hang on, I'm just going to swap hands with the video. So these ones again, really nice to use. They come in 48 different colours. Everyone's receiving two colours that will go together nicely in the cart. And again, if I just wedge that there, you've got a bit of a brush tip happening again there with that. I'm getting a bit of a, it's a bit hard for me to see um, what's happening because of the glare of the sun. It's a really bright day today. Uh, so that's that with those pens. And then we've got the Posca pen. So again, everyone's receiving one of these. These particular ones are the metallic colors. So uh, this being the metallic blue, it is the finest Posca you can buy. Um, I can show you the color tip of these with one here. So as you can see there, very fine little tip. Excellent for writing um, addresses onto parcels, actually. I've been using them for that. Give them a bit of color on the, uh, on the top of the parcel. So uh, yeah, the Posca pen, and then the other two pens everyone's receiving is the Uni Pin Fine Liner. So I was trying to get it so that we can see. There we go. So water and fade proof pigment ink. They're not archival or they're not saying they are. Archival means that they will not fade over time as in go another color. Um, so these over time and it's gonna take time, like years, they could possibly turn a little bit of a sepia color or even a khaki color to them. But it's gonna take them a, a lot of years. They come in quite a few widths. I think I've chosen not the finest, Oh, sorry, that one there. No, there's about two nibs that are finer than this one, but everyone's receiving the 0.1 and the 0.5 um, in your cart for that. The reason why I've brought all the other markers down is because when I was doing the example artwork, which I did, being this first one here, I just couldn't stop at one, so I had to keep going. I have a lot of fun doodling. It's probably the most passionate type of artwork that I like to do. So some art carters will be receiving that color palette in their cart. Others will be receiving that color. And others will be receiving that color palette. What I'm gonna to have to do now is buy a few more of the markers and just continue on. I'd like to fill this whole journal exactly how I have here beautiful stuff. Uh, the other thing that is in your cart is the little social media card. So the idea behind this is when you have done your own artwork and you want to share it to social media, if you can stick this little card into um, your photo and then that just lets people know that uh, the art supplies that you've used have come from the art cart. Um, and that, that little card is in every month's cart. Now, the other thing that's not always in carts, but it is at the moment because I haven't announced it all yet, is that I have two international artists coming out to Australia. I'm representing them. Um, one is coming in September of this year, being uh, 2019, and the other one is coming in March 2020. So please stay tuned in regards to that. Um, the website yeah mrsreds.com.au but um basically if you want to if you if you haven't had a subscription art cart yet they are every month we are an australian company but we will sell internationally uh there will just be a conversion in your uh your, your rates and your postage as well and um, for more information on the subscription art cart, you just need to head to mrsreds.com.au, which I can just bring up. Uh, yeah, so it's just down the bottom there in the right, uh, the left-hand corner. There we go. So thank you for joining me. I'll just put it back onto myself. You can probably hear the sander going down at the house at the moment. 
um, yeah, way too loud for me to be down there. So uh, thank you for allowing me to record this up in the paddock with the chooks who again have all deserted me. And uh, we often get a family of wallabies that come out of the top of the paddock up there as well. Um, but not if I'm sitting here, they would definitely not come. And um, you never know, I might do another one of these because it, it does cut down my editing time quite a bit as well. <laughs> All right, thanks for that. And again, any more info, just head to the website, mrsreds.com.au. See you next time.